Hi everyone, it's Lindsay with Josh's Frogs, and I'm here to drop some knowledge on you about some mantids, uh, specifically the Chinese praying mantis, because that's what we work with here at Josh's. We have these uthikas, or the egg cases, seasonally, so they're not always available. If you notice that we are out on the site, check in the uh, video comments below. There is a link that you can go to and subscribe to be notified when they're back in stock. But this is what they'll look like. You get two of them because sometimes, rarely, one can be infertile and it won't actually hatch. But typically you'll get about 50 to a couple hundred little mantids coming out of here. Um, the females secrete this foam with the eggs in it once they're towards the end of their life. And then once they hatch out, then you get a lot of baby mantids there to work with. Once they do hatch, you want to ideally house them separately because they are cannibalistic. They'll eat each other. You want to make sure you're offering food right away. Um, the best options, especially when they start, would be the tiny wingless melanogaster fruit flies. Um, so have some of those available. You can always have an abundance of them just to make sure they always have food. Um, once you get them, you want, for an adult, their housing should be the height of at least one and a half times the length of that mantis because they need room to hang down on a, something such as like a stick like this or a zip tie, something that they can hang upside down so it helps them with molting. And they'll go through a few molts before they become an adult. This guy here is about three months old, so he's not fully grown as of yet, but he's, he's getting there. But they're, they're very neat creatures. He's probably going to appreciate foods such as uh, roaches. You can do black soldier fly larva. Um, you can do banded crickets, which is what we sell here at Josh's, but you need to be careful when feeding crickets because other species can actually carry diseases, which can ultimately be harmful to the mantis. Um, so banded would be fine. You just don't want to overfeed crickets. You don't want to leave them in there if they're not eating them right at that time because they are known to chew on bugs. And you don't want to harm the mantis because they're the alphas in that situation. So. You can keep them in something as small as one of these 32 ounce um, culture containers that we use for our fruit flies. That's plenty big for them. Um, this guy I personally have in a large faunarium just so he has ample room and I keep sphagnum moss at the bottom just to hold humidity. And then I mist his cage about uh, a few times a week just to make sure he's got humidity to help him molt. Handling, you can do um, when they're younger. I would be careful if you have kids just because they can bite and also they're just, they're very fragile. You can see they have super thin legs, so you just gotta be careful. They like to climb up, they get to the highest point. So if you do this, they'll climb, they'll climb with you. But once they are adults and have wings, you wanna be careful about handling because they can fly away. So keeping them in an enclosed space is ideal if you're keeping them as a pet. So when you get the Uthakas from us, you'll also receive a care sheet that breaks it down to, for you how you want to take care of them, the temperature, humidity, um, how long it takes the egg cases to hatch in case you can't remember, um, what they eat, and introducing them into your yard. So if you need to refer to this, then this will come with your egg cases, but also there should be a link in the uh, video information below. As far as when you have your egg cases and you want to hang them in the container that you're storing them in so that the mantids can fall down and crawl out as they hatch. So you'll see that there are usually sticks in the egg cases because uh, where the female created them, attaching them to the stick. Um, if you can't affix something to that to have it hang, then you can very carefully put a toothpick or something through to have them suspended on a lid. Uh, this one actually just slid right out. So you might be able to find something that would work well in there. Um, but you just want to be careful not to like poke through the middle of the egg case because you don't want to hurt the little, the little babies in there. But then you can always like zip tie it to the lid and then when you have it in there, they just fall right down. It's easier for them to hatch out and you can get the best results from your hatching. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch our video. 
like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. You can contact us at our help desk, info at joshesfrogs.com. Take a look at our website, joshesfrogs.com. We have awesome reptile and amphibian and mantis supplies.